once we do this, it stays this way. And just snaps in. It just snaps into place. Yeah, and you, that way you don't have to hook up wiring every time you use it. In other words, it's direct connect like this. So here's your electrical wow. connection. Mm -hmm. You just plug it up. Okay. And uh, here, you just pull this into the power head and plug it up. This is probably the most advanced carpet cleaner on the market today, uh, Powerhead. And let me show you some of the features to it. It's got a window here on top, and it's got all your adjustments in the window. And if you look, you can see extra low in there. That's, that's for this type of carpeting, where it's real short nap. And then if you've got a little bit thicker nap, you can go up to low. And then if you've got a much thicker nap, medium, and if you've got some of the old-timey shag carpets, you can go to high. And uh, so it's got four settings on it. Now, another thing you'll like about this is the brushes go from edge to edge. And if you'll notice, these brushes actually lean outward. And the purpose of that is so you can go right down the edge of a wall and you don't leave a streak next to your wall unclean. See, those brushes go right next to the wall. And then to, to vibrate the sand in the carpet up so your cleaner can pick the sand up, you got your beater brush here. And another thing I like about this, uh, Lisa, is after five or six years of use with these brushes and uh, this uh, beater bar, they'll tend to wear down a little bit. Well, normally you have to throw that whole uh, rotary uh, system away there and put a new one in for 40 or $50. But in the case of the airway power head, uh, those, you just unhook this and you unhook, you, you take them and you slide them out. And for a couple of dollars, you slide them back in, see? and replace your brushes. That way you don't have to buy this whole, the whole uh, piece here. When you use your Eureka, you ever break a bell? Oh, yeah. Okay, what happens is you get something hung in the power head. And uh, by the way, here's something, one other thing I like before I get into that. Got yeah. control right here on the uh, handle. But anyway, what happens is you run over something like a little throw rug or a little sock or something. It wraps around the brushes, and what happens is those brushes will start keep spinning. I mean, they'll stop spinning, but your little pulley that's pulling the brushes just keeps going. And it gets the belt hot, it'll stretch the belt and break it because it always smells bad when it breaks, doesn't it? Yeah, it's hard to fix. Right? What's this? With airway, we've got a geared belt. There's no flipping on this. If you run over something, what will happen, the gears on the belt and the pulley cause it to stop immediately. There's no flipping. You pull the sock out, you pull the carpet out or whatever, hit your restart button, start again. Now, you remember me telling you a moment ago that it's very difficult to get down next to the uh, baseboards and clean with that little uh, crevice too. With airway, let's say you're cleaning along here, and you decide you want to do your baseboards. Instead of unhooking everything, hit your quick release button right here, unhook it. So I got my finger open. Now we go right down the baseboard and clean. And when we get through, without even bending over, you just put it back in there and you're gone again. So that makes it real easy. Yeah. Now, the one thing I'm going to show you before I let you clean with it and we'll be through is you clean this carpet, I believe you said, with a Eureka. Let me just see one thing. Let's put this in here to catch it. And let's just see how your Eureka cleans. Doesn't that look better when we run the airway over? Oh, yes. Yeah. Remember me tell you that sand cuts carpet fibers? Mm-hmm. Here's your oh. carpet fibers that were cut with the sand. There's the sand that cut the fibers. Hmm. Feel that? It's like sandpaper. Yeah. Would you believe that would have been in your carpet? I thought that it would be. You wouldn't have thought it would have been, would you? <laughs> no. Okay, okay, now, do you have any questions on the uh, airway at all? Okay, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you just get the feel of this. Just hold that, and you don't even have to get up or anything, because I know we got wiring in the way here, but just notice how easy. Very cool. It almost pulls nice. its own self, doesn't it? Uh-huh. 
The reason it does that is that rotating corkscrew type effect on the brush helps pull it. That means yeah, it's light to push, and that means you can vacuum for 30 minutes and not be tired. Too. That'd be nice. Okay, do you have any questions on it at all, other than the big one? How much? All right. Okay, let me show you. We've got it in print right here, so let me just flip over. Uh, page one, as Paul Harvey would say, it's suggested retail on this. Um, $13.95 for the basic machine, $230 is the value we put on that power head. Mm -hmm. And we've got a 25-year extended warranty that you can get with the airway that's $70, so that's $16.95 total suggested retail. Now, we don't ask you to pay suggested retail. What we do is we make you an offer when we first see you. If today you like the airway, if you wanted to own the airway, if you bought the airway, the base price, $13.95, Trade it in your old cleaner, your Eureka. I don't know what you paid for it, but you probably paid less than $230 for it. Yeah. We'll give you the $230 power head for a trade for your old Eureka. And the second thing I'll do is we will negate the $70 value on the extended warranty, hoping that you'll give us a few names of friends that we could call and offer, offer to do a demo for like we did you. Yeah. You see, that's how I got your name. Your friend gave your name. So what I'm telling you is you pay $13.95 base price for the machine, and that's all you pay. Now, there's four ways to pay for it. Cash in full, or you can pay check in full, or you can pay credit card in full, and there is a bonus with either one of these three methods. Or, like most people, you can put it on a small budget plan. Mm -hmm. And the budget plan is nothing down. And uh, that's it. What it really boils down to is this, Lisa. If you own and use the airway, you get rid of the dirt and the dust and the germs and the bacteria and the pollen, etc., etc. If you don't own the airway, as we demonstrated a moment ago, when the bag plugs up, you don't get rid of those. You retain those in your home. And that's not a pleasant thought, is it? No, it's not. And that's it. I'm totally through. I've got two questions, and then I'll answer any questions you have. First question, Lisa, is this, is if you had the airway after seeing what it will do, would you use it? Absolutely. Okay. Second question, if you did, in fact, get it, would you mind trading that old Eureka? But and you get could it out have it. Okay.